Aquaman 2, aka Aquaman The Lost Kingdom, is releasing this year. And with so little marketing, a lot of people are wondering what is their strategy. Well, apparently their strategy is to hit you with a hard blitz of advertising that you can't take your eyes off of. And that this is going to translate into what analysts are predicting is the biggest comic book film of the year and the biggest film DC has put out since The Batman. If we've learned anything this year or over the course of the last two years in relation to predictions on DC films is that they don't matter anymore. Um, so many DC films have fallen so short of their predictions that it's quite shocking at this point. So the fact that we are talking about analysts saying that Aquaman 2 is a guaranteed billion dollar hit, to me, doesn't honestly mean anything. I personally think it's going to be close to it, but I don't think it's going to be as strong as the first film for a multitude of factors. Now also, there is the possibility that the film is so good, gets such good reviews, and also the people just missed Aquaman so much that they're going to ignore the Amber Heard situation, depending on how good WB can hide it, and also that the women are just going to go, yeah, but Jason Momoa. But I've seen somebody's predictions say, well, yeah, but Jason Momoa is going to sell this thing. Everybody sees everything he's in. And... Maybe at one point, like a year ago, I could have agreed with that, or two years ago, maybe even three years ago, I think closer to Aquaman, but Jason Momoa did not help Fast X at all, just like The Rock did nothing for Black Adam. You know, so I'm starting to wonder whether this whole, well, Jason Momoa, women are going to go see it regardless, it didn't help with the last film, maybe it's just they want to see him as Aquaman, that could be a factor, but again guaranteeing that this is going to be a billion dollar hit that's a tough call i mean we'll talk about it as it gets closer to it certainly predictions are gonna range all over the place but i'm not convinced this is going to be as big as the first film to me the zeitgeist surrounding aquaman just isn't there 